guys, welcome back to Beauty Tuesday where I am doing weekly beauty videos. For today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I style my hair, how I've been styling it lately because I have gotten so many questions about it ever since I got my new curling iron, which you guys know I love because I have been using it pretty much a lot since I got it. So this is what my hair looks like, freshly washed, just blow dried, no other like heat. I didn't straighten it, I didn't um, blow dry it like professionally or anything like that. All I did was I washed it. The shampoo and conditioner I use are the Aussie Miracle Moist range. So Aussie is my favorite. It works on my hair perfectly. It makes it silky soft and smooth. This stuff is really affordable too. So it's, I highly recommend this. So I use the Miracle Moist shampoo and then the Reconstructor, which is the three minute miracle. It's like a, a really rich, um, deep conditioner and because I only wash my hair twice a week that's what I use both times I don't have that to show you guys it's in the shower but it comes in like an upside down tube all I do is I try and let it air dry for as long as possible so I'll typically wash my hair like first thing in the morning and then while it's air drying I'll get my makeup on I'll get dressed I'll get breakfast ready I'll like clean up downstairs like I do a lot of stuff while my hair is still wet because I try and let it air dry as much as possible because I don't want to use too much heat on my hair so all I do which is a tip for volume is I make sure that my hair is flipped over to the opposite side that it actually falls on so wherever your natural part is like mine is actually more over here like it's right here so I flip it so that it's the opposite it will basically give it a lot more volume at the roots because when i flip it over it will have kind of dried that way and it just makes so much of a difference if i don't do that and if i just leave it flat it looks flatter and it stays looking flat and kind of blah for like the whole three days until i wash it again then by the time i get back upstairs to finish drying my hair it's about 80 percent dry and what i do is i don't even use like a fancy hair dryer or blow dryer or anything like that i just use it's like a little babyliss travel size one and i blow dry my hair upside down brushing it out with my tangle teaser. If you have thick hair or hair that tangles easily, this is such a great tool to have. This has changed my life. I will only ever use this as a brush. I won't ever go back to anything else. When I get to blow drying it, I just blow dry it upside down all the while brushing it out with my tangle teaser. And I do this in such a way that I get more volume at the roots because I'm doing it upside down, obviously, and then I do it like you know, this way, brush, 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 and always blow dry down the hair shaft. That means that you won't get like frizzies or anything like that because you're not opening it up, opening up the cuticle of your hair. Now we're gonna get to the curling part. So this is my new curling iron that I got recently. I got it from ASOS and I got this after reading a couple of different reviews because my old one broke. This one is the TG Pro Fat Curl Stick. All I do is section my hair in halves so just like that and then again in quarters so I take the top section here and then the top section here and I just tie them back with a little hair tie the other thing I really like about this is that the tip right here doesn't heat up this tip you can touch it and you won't burn your, burn your hands you don't need to use a glove I mean it's probably safer if you do use a glove but um, this makes it really safe because then you don't burn your shoulders or your face. I mean, these are so dangerous, so be really careful when you use one. I'm starting with the back piece and I'm facing the curling iron down and wrapping the hair away from the face. And that's all I do. And then I just hold that for a couple of seconds. I'm not really sure. And until I kind of feel like it's hot enough. And then I release it and it makes this little curl. And that's all I do the whole entire way um, of my hair. When I finish with that side, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side for the bottom half, 
but I'm still curling it away from the face. So it's going in the opposite direction. When that's done, we're gonna take down the top and just do the same thing, but section by section. So I'm gonna separate it in half again. I'm actually gonna push these parts, these underneath parts back and then take down this front half and then put this one back up because I'm not gonna do this one yet. Now as you move towards the front pieces, these are the most important ones. So you just want to make sure that it's always facing away and curling away from the face, but kind of over direct it back a little bit so you're lifting the root. See how I'm lifting the root just there? So that's how I make sure that there's a lot of volume in the front. And then for these front pieces, you can see I'm doing the same. I'm keeping the curling iron kind of horizontal so that it's like over directed a little bit and I get more volume. So after I finish curling, this is what my hair looks like. Now, some people like this look. I personally, for me, this is too overdone looking. Like I feel like I look like a poodle or, I mean, it's cute, but I just feel like it really looks like Hi, I just curled my hair. So I like a more natural look. So to achieve that, and also to give it a bit more volume, because I can never have too much volume, I apply the Batiste Dry Shampoo in XXL volume. It's important, if you're getting this, that you get the XXL one, because that's the one that works the best. So it seems weird to apply this to freshly washed hair, but I just spray a little bit at the roots. And then what I do is I just shake it out and kind of work that into my hair like you would a regular shampoo. But you want to, at the same time, separate the curls so that they're not so ringlety because I don't like that. My hair is naturally kind of wavy, like I have a natural wave to it. So my hair holds curl pretty well and these will fall out, but it will kind of last like this wave effect will last for the whole three days, like until I wash my hair again. So if your hair is not like that, obviously you want to apply some kind of a hairspray or some kind of a setting spray so that they will last longer, but I actually don't even find the need to, and I also don't like the feeling of any kind of products in my hair, so I don't do that. My hair type is also dry, so what I do after this, which sounds completely contradictory because I just applied dry shampoo, but this is just what works for me. I put in some kind of hair serum or oil or just something that will make the curls and make the texture of my hair silkier and smoother. That's just my hair type. If you have, you know, oilier hair or whatever, don't do this. But right now I'm using the Ojan Instant Restorative Hair Serum. It's so hard to say. I usually apply about eight drops, which is kind of a lot, but because my hair is so thick, that's kind of what I need. So I just run that through all, only the ends, not the, don't go anywhere near the roots. And that just will keep the curls looking a bit shinier. So this is day one, like I said, but on day two and day three, I just repeat the steps of dry shampoo at the roots, followed by a brush out with my tangle teaser because I need to brush my hair every day anyway, obviously, otherwise it's gonna get knotted. And then after I do that, I apply a little bit of either hair serum or an oil or something to the, to the ends, just like I showed you guys. I will put before and after pictures on my blog as well as some close-up pictures of the products that I used in case you missed any of them, but everything will be in the description box as always. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.